Welcome back to more Fall Guys. The current fame pass ends in the morning, and as per usual, I'm running behind, so this video is me catching up. Uh, now, we actually have two really good shows on at the moment. We have Survival of the Fittest, one of my personal favourite, and we also just have Solos, which I've been told has involved a load of stuff, so it should hopefully be a little bit spicy. If you don't know the song and dance about this, uh, they're releasing a new fame pass, I want to make sure I've got enough stuff to go ahead and buy it, and given that double XP is active and we've got a few fair challenges we can do, I feel like we can do this pretty easily. Uh, enough talking, let us hop straight on in. Uh, we're gonna start off with, uh, we'll start off with Survival of the Fittest. If you know me, you know Survival Rounds are usually my most favorite in the game, so in theory, uh, you know, I should be good at this. If I'm good at this, I can get points, and those points are doubled, and I get more show books so I can buy the next Fame Pass. Um, if you haven't been keeping up with the news, um, Fall Guys are allegedly doing away with seasons now, uh, so we don't particularly know what the future of the game is gonna look like, but I have a feeling they'll clear it up eventually. Uh, the next fame pass for the time being, though, is based on Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, it's an MMO. A lot of my friends play it. Um, I personally cannot bring myself to play it. Do not stand it. However, I will max it out if purely because of spite and free show bucks. And admittedly, some of them look cool, like just from a design point of view. It's like, am I going to pass Cool King skin just because it's from a game I have no interest in? Like hell I am. Uh, speaking of which, we're dressed as milk today. <laughs> Anyway, okay, uh, someone at Mediatonic clearly um, has it out for us today. We got Stomping Ground and the uh, scary version, nonetheless. Okay, so again, 10 people go out and then we're good. Or we wait a minute 20. Not sure what the best icon for this is. Uh, we just gotta hope that we're not knocked out. Which, mm, okay, okay, yeah, he he, he wants me. Uh, he He's turning, okay, okay. Oh, he, no, I'm sorry, he is locked onto me now. Don't, don't you grab me and think you can get away with it. Because cause you won't, you won't. And it only needs one more person to die, and we're good, but oh, I love this version, because it is completely anxiety-inducing. Case in point, if someone didn't die there, we probably would have been the last one to go out, which, you know, pretty humiliating, but it didn't happen, so it is fine. Now, ooh, okay, adding up the competition, again, shows like this, I think it's mainly only solos that's, like, you know, got set up matchmaking, um, so we kind of get a mixed bag, like, I might end up that gold witch, it's like, you may win more games than me, but... I am obsessed with survival runs. Like, Jump Club, Jump Club is where I was raised in this video game. You know, like, I can tell you every little thing you can do, like the timings, where it's better to stand on the inside or outside, different things. Like, I got this down to a science, I could write a thesis paper and get a PhD on these rounds. So I'm not, I'm not too concerned if people, you know, have the maxed fame pass or have a really good skin. Because I'm me, and I know I am chronically addicted to these rounds, so I like to think I've got a tiny bit of an edge, especially because we're not in matchmaking. Well, we are, but you know, it's just more of a mixed bag instead of people all with a really high skill level like it tends to be. So you think I'm qualified to be in the top bracket of matchmaking? No. Have you seen how I play some of these rounds? Okay, survival rounds maybe, yeah, put me in top matchmaking, but I mean like the rest of the rounds, god, you put me on a creative round, I am flailing around like a fish. Anyway, just gotta keep jumping. Again, people really seem to struggle on this when there's like big massive fruit cannons everywhere. Not that that bothers me, although me and that bullet are gonna have a civil disagreement if he keeps grabbing me. It's like, I see you. I see you. I don't want to see you get out my sight. Ooh, okay. <laughs> you know, I appreciate the guys here with an ice cream thing as well. You know, kind of adds to the, uh, what would be the word? You know, it kind of adds to the I'm Milky's ice cream. It's like two peas in a pod. And now we'll go into, you know, a nice frosty map. Don't mind if I do get the triple thread of ice creamness. Whatever the hell that means. It's like, yeah, it's been, it's been a while since I've recorded a uh, Fall Guys video, so apologies if my commentary is a bit rusty. Or even worse, weird. Speaking of weird things, oh, I don't like that platform. It's like, realistically, it's got just as much safe spaces as usual. They're just a bit more spread out, and those holes are, um... They don't look very bueno to me. Uh, but if you know my strategy, it is literally just go hide in this corner usually. Like on these nice five tiles, everything's fine. No, don't grab me. Don't grab me. I loved you. I loved you like my own son. Don't don't you grab me. Don't you grab me. We were friends. We had a thing, okay? We had a thing. And don't you go ruining that thing. Yeah, we're communicating. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know what Matrix move that was, but uh, oh boy. It was a good one. And we just need one more person to die. So long as it isn't me, I don't complain. Oh, shit. Well, um, Matrix comparisons continue. Oh! oh. <laughs> and literally, I think two seconds after that, we would have been dead as well. We're getting very lucky with some of these rounds, I do gotta say. 
But seven of us are left. Mr. Ice Cream's still here. Maybe we befriended him by not grabbing him back or whatnot. I don't know. I don't know. But our last round is Crack and Slam. Um, historically, Rust used to this one. Because I think this is the most recent finale that was added. And I say finale is like actual finale. I don't count the creative rounds as finales. Because they're just like full mountain, but like worse and less iconic. It's like, I don't you have a fun game in the comments. You could, don't go Googling it. Because I know if you do. Name one finale added in season four. Um, even though... God, is this going to be the last proper, like, Fall Guys season? Because, ugh. Again, I want to take a second to talk on that. The whole, you know, this is the last proper season for Fall Guys. Because they're moving away from seasons to add, like, more regular stuff. I don't know what that means, precisely. Sorry, I'm trying to commentate while just spamming my emote buttons to serenade this little ice cream man. But, like, oh shit, a rat. No. 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 Come back. Oh, it's on now. It's on. I'm sorry. You can take my life. You can take my dignity, but you cannot take my little compadre who's dressed up as an orange. That shit's just illegal, sir. Anyway, we just do this. Tenderoni. Very nice. Very nice. Very delectable. Making it up into a fine paste. Speaking of a paste, I'll be turned into one if I end up in the water. So we're just gonna keep keep jumping. Four more people gotta die. Come on. Can I get a win? I get a crown if I win in this mode. So it's like, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I do, in fact, want to perform well. Nuh uh. Nuh uh. Uh huh. Yeah, that's right. Fucking Jesus Christ of Face himself showed up and was like, nuh uh, you don't dying today. Don't even understand how the hell I'm alive there. I, it just, it just like backwards flung me. I didn't even know that was a thing. But apparently it is, and apparently the game is very fond of doing it to me. Which is like, I won't complain. I won't complain if the game wants to play favorites. I'm sorry you're getting tipped over again. You have an addiction game. You have an addiction. Stop tipping over that side of the platforms. It's, they're my lucky platforms, I can tell you. Don't feel good about being in the blue zone though, you know? The blue zone, you can't you can't trust the people in the blue zone. They're, they're, they're shady, you know? I never know what they'll do. Uh, also, because that's where my, my, my dearly compadre of a ice cream died. And it's also where I would have died if I was two meters to the left. But, you know what? I'll take that. I'll click my walls and ooh, we can tell we exited out quite quickly there, but making some progress. Some uh, gold medals. Is that going to get multiplied by two? It isn't. That was it multiplied by two. But, I mean, hey, those daily challenges get multiplied as well. So, I think just to add a bit more variety into the mix. I'm going to go in solo, see if we can see any more of those unvaulted rounds. And then we'll go back to Survival of the Fittest for the last one, if that makes sense. Or if we've got enough time. Which I think works for us, you know? It's good, it's cool. See if we can find some other compadres dressed up as either milk cartons or ice creams. You know, just a, a little bit of flair to it, you know? Getting invested in random people in the Fall Guys match and being sad when they die or really happy when they win or make it to another round. It just makes it a bit more fun. Makes it a bit more fun when you're, you know, kind of just rushing to get fame. Can, can add some flair to it, you know? Also, can I say, um, I appreciate the fact that unknowingly, I kept my regular goal scheme equipped, which is white and brown, which like, Depending on who you ask, some cows are white and brown, so it kind of matches with the milk carton thing quite well. <laughs> Even if the cow pattern on the milk itself is white and black. It's like, ah, just, just little things like that. I don't know what it is, but I have a really fun time recording this. Which I know I shouldn't, because I'm really concerned about what the heck Mediatonic are doing. Uh, but you know, we can, we can get into that in due time. Or actually, we can get into it now while we play Coming Together. Are you kidding me? It's like, okay, off the top of your head, how's this level go? Uh-huh, now tell me how Skyline Stumble works. You can answer one of those, couldn't you? It's like, yeah, I think I've said my grievances about creative in previous videos, but I just don't like a lot of the maps. They just feel very basic, very fundamentally, and there is definitely a quantity over quality issue with a lot of them, because they're just kind of boring and don't have any real standout-ish flair or thing. And I don't know, um, the fact that they're doubling down on creative is like, okay, good for the game in the long run, perhaps, but they really need to expand it in order for me to like tip my head and be like, you know, all right. Um, I just hope, cause it's weird now, right? Cause there aren't seasons. So how we're gonna go about getting, uh, what would you call them? Like mediatonic made levels, you know? Don't know how they do it. And that might just be me, but I don't know what they'll do. Or it's just like, hey, we're releasing a new round into the game. It's like, with the season, it kind of made sense. It's like, okay, here are all these rounds, and there's a new theme for all of the rounds, all like decorations and whatnot, and here's a battle pass. Yada yada. Whereas now, it's like, okay. 
when are we getting new levels, Mediatonic? Because if you're not doing a season, then what are you doing to release new levels? Is it just going to be like a, hey, here's an update, it's got some minor stuff in and some levels we made? Or is it just going to be like a kind of radio silence on the whole new levels from Mediatonic front? Because there's a little faith as I can have in, in you know, in like managerial and stuff at uh, Mediatonic. Like, I do not think that the greatest decisions of all time have always been made for the game. One thing I do have faith in is the developer's ability to make pretty good levels. So I, th I think losing them in favor of just like not having them or maybe like they, they could start to rely a lot more on user submitted creative levels for the round pool. I don't know, but I don't know. I, I, I still want to see developer create levels. I'm just not sure when we'd be seeing them. And also the move away from seasons, I mentioned it previously, but new themes. I like, I like the jungle theme, I like the space theme, I like the kind of sports theme they had, you know, um, the, the retro -y theme right now is arguably the worst one they've had, but you know, I, I still like it, it keeps the rounds going fresh and unique. Um, so my other question is, if you're moving away from seasons, what are we doing about themes? Is it gonna be the, we're, we're kind of stuck in a time capsule where retro is the last season theme we get, and that gets doubled down on a lot, and then other themes get added into thing, and we're essentially stuck with a X amount of themes in the game, or are they just gonna, in some non-season patches, just release a new theme? Or are we still gonna get pseudo-seasons like, here's a theme and five new levels and a battle pass that's kind of thematically relevant to the thing we just released. This is not a season. Like, like part of my brain does not see this going well. Oh, oh wow, okay, that was... Seems the uh, launch me forward randomly thing can work both ways, in my favor and not. Um, but I don't know. I, I feel as though, if this is to go well, they're essentially just going to go back on their idea to abandon seasons. Unless it was, like, the idea of a season. Maybe we still get that stuff, but maybe it's, like, interspersed. They're like, hey, we've released a new thing for you in creative, and here is two levels in the new theme. I know it's... Well, what, what's a theme I can think of off the top of my head? It's like, I know Pirates is kind of close to underwater, but well, let's, let's see if we get like, a pirate theme in creative and then like levels. I, I don't know. I, I don't know how they do it, which makes sense because of course I wouldn't. But I'm just, yeah. Um, so long as the game gets like a fresh lick of paint every so often, I'm not complaining. I just do not want for it to be stuck on the retro style theme forever because to be honest, as I've said, I think it's just the weakest theme the game's had. I really like the battle pass and the new system's been pretty interesting, but it just, Something about like, the retro theme, J just ain't it. Oh, unfortunately, we are out now though. <laughs> uh, surprisingly, and you're not gonna believe this, uh, when you get grabbed and fall into the void twice, uh, quite difficult to go qualifying. But that's fine, look at us go. Oh, seriously, look at us go. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Do not mind if I do get my 1,200 kudos and blue moon face plate. And to be fair, that's a nice shade of blue. It's like, how far off are we from the rest of these show books? If you don't mind me having a look. Oh, okay. A uh, hundred there, and a uh, hundred more, a little bit more along. And I think it is 600 to purchase them nowadays, if I'm not to be corrected. It's like, I could just sink all night into playing the game if I wanted. Debatably, maybe I'll get the homies on. Maybe we'll record. Who knows? Uh, but uh, for the time being, I think we're going to go back to Survival of the Fittest. Just have one very good last game. And if we can win and bring home a crown. Again, I think I've got a home field advantage here. The weekly challenge with a load of fame. To win a show, applies here. But better yet, if we win that, that fame's doubled. So what we've got to do is just not mess it up. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think that's a little discussion on um, how seasons and whatnot. My, my thoughts on the recent changes to the game are being, um, yeah, the, the answer to all this stuff, it seems like they're moving in the right direction. I just have a kind of pit in my stomach that they're going to get. I'm not sure how many of you get this. Save the worlded, but for the whole game. Like, you know how Fortnite was originally a completely different game? Like, th there's two games there, Save the World and Battle Royale. Then once Battle Royale became popular, Save the World kind of just got shelved and put on, like, life support. It's like, okay, here's a thing. And the thing would be something that existed in Battle Royale. And it was on life support, so it was still technically getting updates, just not a lot of them because the team had different priorities. Like, I'm kind of concerned. No, I think my main concern is that we're going to see that happen where Fall Guys goes on life support because the staff are just being yoinked away to go work on Fortnite. Which, unfortunately, might be the case. Because um, there was a thing that um, people kicked off on Twitter the other week. Um, there was a Fortnite creative map released, and they said it was by... Yeah, no, there was a Fortnite creative map, and they said it was made by Mediatonic Studios or something. It, it was, like, clearly Mediatonic, the same people that, you know, 
primarily work on Fall Guys. I know they got other studios in and stuff, but mostly it's Mediatronic, like, you know, the designing and developing, uh, at least the main ports. Um, so it was like, okay, is the reason Fall Guys getting less updates and seemingly less attention, A, because they ain't making as much money, or is it B, because they're being yoinked to go make Fortnite creative maps? It's like, not my place to go speculate, not my place to go say anything for definite. But if this game gets shut down because they steal all the developers to go work on, like, main Fortnite, I'll be a bit, like, salty about. But if, if this game gets shut down because they want all the developers to go start making Fortnite creative maps, we are going to have an issue. We are going to have a very big issue. Uh, and yeah, um, that's all the other matter. But yeah, so I like this game. So I'd rather this keeps getting developed instead of Fortnite creative maps. Because, you know, the Fortnite creative maps, they can make themselves for all I care. Well, this, ah, it's like, I, 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 I like what the people are doing, so please, Epic Games, do not reassign them all to go work on Fortnite, specifically creative maps, because I will not be happy. Uh, but equally, very happy about how that wound, ra round went. Not wound, round. Uh, it, it appears my uh, f wonderful linguistic skills are apparently just collapsing in on themselves, um, as if anyone expected anything different, honestly. It's like, I sound like Boris Johnson trying to give a speech, except with more speech impediments and less nervousness. And I don't know how that's possible. And why is it just showing Jump Showdown? Why is it just showing Jump Showdown? If it was like trying to subtly hint that Snowball Survival is the next round instead. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, so you said any other round to be next? No, no. Snowball Survival. The end. Now, now it does let me thinking, we've, had, we've obviously had Jump Club just then, so realistically we could get Roll-Off, yeah we can get Roll-Off, Hexagon, Hexaterrestrial, and that's it as the finales. No, and the, and the other one, Hexa Ring, yeah. Okay, ideally if we don't get Ka Kraken Slam again, which is like only a 20% chance, assuming they are all in play, I'll be quite happy actually. Um, I kind of I kinda like those... I, I kind of like a lot of my chances on those, especially Hexaterrestrial. I remember my win rate, especially back in Season 2, being, like, quite high. So it's like, oh, well, you know, I'll, I'll complain if I get that, but I feel as though my uh, my compatriots may be a tiny bit more better uh, than they were back when that was a brand new map. I'm just going to keep dodging and kind of praying that I don't get killed. Uh-huh, okay. Seems fine, seems fine. Not fine, not fine, not fine. Deathcon 12. Oh, Shizer. Oh! <gasps> This is a theme. Th this is a theme. I'm sorry, that is three times now in this recording I've managed to qualify whilst completely eating shit and being on the brink of death. And I don't know how I'm doing it, if I'm being entirely honest. I have no clue how that's working, but... Mm. And last but not least is once again Kraken Slam. Unfortunately. I'm not... I just... I don't like it. I, I, I'm I bad at it. I unless I'm playing it will get me better at it and whatnot. It's like, yeah, yeah, I'm with you for that. Cool. The minor issue of, I got a win to get. Granted, I feel as though everybody else here is also semi kind of rushing to max out their fame pass. Like, you see anyone in those beast skins? Hell now, nah, we all need that achievement as much as each other. But we're just gonna go hide. We're just gonna go hide and live a peaceful Zen lifestyle while everybody else mauls each other to death. And if someone tries to jump to our thing, we run away. I think that's a good shout. Now, oh, okay, right. First person dead, first person dead. Wonderful amounts of skullduggery. Love to see it. Now, again, if, if these people can just, like, leave each other alone, that's fine. I feel as though that guy over there, Mr. Grabber, if I can be the last person to get a visit from him, which with some clever positioning, I probably can be if I um, jump past that uh, guy that's just wearing the black collar and nothing else. I reckon I can be his his last guy on the hit list. Because if somebody takes him out, then we have no grabbers to go, you know, thinning the competition, so to say. Uh, alternatively, we just time it out. Okay, and, ooh, okay. So now it's that one getting tipped and that one getting tipped. And, ooh, ooh, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? He's dressed up as a minion, isn't he? Okay, maybe you did deserve getting grabbed. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Disagree, actually. Get out of here. Okay, now he's making his platform a whole lot more dangerous. The longer this one can hold off without any technical starting to hit the platforms, I won't complain. Yeah, see that? I missed the ninja man over there, but those little dinghy seems to be getting a bit more nervous now, which, mm-hmm. Now again, I just gotta be careful nobody comes and grabs me. That guy is like public enemy number one over there. Now you, you stay away from me. You you stay away from me. 
Okay, now that one's getting tilted, but they're all on it. Oh, okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. Okay, again, I'm just spectating. I've, I've, I've not left this tile much, realistically. No, you don't. No, 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 stay away from me. Stay away from me. Personal space, biatch. No, please. I'm just going to stand on this one instead, and we have a mutual agreement. We are mutually agreeing. Please stop trying to kill me, good sir. I would like to live. Living is, in fact... Oh, shit, it's a one versus one. Did I really have to say it like that? Was there really a need? Oh, no. Murder. Double murder, actually. Oh, shit. Triple murder deluxe 10,000. Oh, fuck. Uh-huh. I don't think I'm making it. I don't think we're making it out of the Blunder Dome with this one, boys. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Okay. We're just going to keep... Just got to keep running. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't... I don't think I've got this in me. I don't think I've got this in me. But I know if I do got it in me. I know if I if, if I, I I know if I'm able to pull this off somehow in some like godforsaken odd future in which you know this works out. I got that fame pass rocketing up the rackings. Come on, and okay, you're in business. You're in business. You are somehow not getting tilted again. Although okay, these platforms definitely are looking a bit diagonal. You know, they're looking a bit um vertically inclined and oh hang on a second if we just time this out then we're gonna be good if he doesn't grab me and i don't grab him we just hold out for two minutes okay okay all of a sudden now i'm liking this minion man it's like yeah okay i know i said you deserved to be grabbed earlier however i've come to the profound realization you are actually a good fella it's like yes yes if we both time this out we both win and we both get fame points i just gotta keep running around until i don't die which is apparently really big ask. Holy. No, okay, okay, no, this time they go. This time they go. This time it's this one. This one who's safe. Okay. Again, I just gotta stay off his platform. I'm sure he'll stay off mine. So it's just a matter of, you know, not dying. Okay, okay, okay. I think I've got this. I think I've learned that, that. Somehow, somehow, he perseveres. Uh, somehow he is going straight into the water. <gasps> what a good fight. I really wanted to time that out, but I have no real idea on how to do that, you know? Like, I'm sure if we coordinate better, or maybe I'd like copied her strat of staying right in the corner on which everyone was turning. Maybe we would have had a better chance, but you know what? I'll take it. Maybe we'll play a bit, few more after this, but uh, we're getting one final level, aren't we? Yes. Good boy. Good, good to be fair. Might play a few more off camera while this is exporting and whatnot. Uh, I think it's a challenge. Yeah. Play, play sure as well in a party. Maybe I'll uh, pardon myself on Switch and uh, have a few rounds to kind of uh, cheekily do that. But I think I'm going to end this one now for here. If you have enjoyed, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. It does all help it a bunch. Let's know that you want to see more of this and all of that good stuff. Also, you can just emote in the thing now. Look at me. I can tab on everyone. You don't even need to go to the emote menu to do it. Sounds like a good update if you ask me. And yeah, until next time, a lot said and all that aside, thanks for watching, guys. My name's been Remick, and peace out.